Hi everyone, welcome to Stitching Cuisines. Today we have a guest with us, my friend Mary. Hi Mary, how are you? I'm great, Noha. Thank you for um, having me. I'm very excited to be here and looking forward to um, learning your new salmon recipe. I am so happy that you are with me today. Today we'll make uh, my special way of making salmon dish, salmon recipe with vegetables. This is our salmon. Now I'm going to tell you about my ingredients. We have one cup of celery, we have one cup of carrots, we have one onion, we have two potatoes, we have one jalapeno pepper. We have three cloves of garlic. We have one tablespoon of ginger, one tablespoon of cardamom, and one tablespoon of salt. We have one tablespoon of seven spices, and we have one teaspoon of cumin and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Three tablespoons of olive oil and three tablespoons of lemon juice. But before I mix them, I will turn on the oven to 375. I will reheat my oven. So it will be ready after mixing the ingredients and put it over the, my, my fish. Uh, the oven will be heated, I will put it immediately. Now, we have our carrots. As I mentioned, one cup of carrots, one cup of celery, and one onion, and the garlic, the potato, we have our we have our spices, the black pepper, the one fourth teaspoon. We have the uh, one, uh, one, uh, one tablespoon of cumin or the onion. We have one tablespoon of seven spices. The one I taught you how to make it. We have one tablespoon of salt. And we have one tablespoon of cardamom. Cardamom and ginger, the most important ingredients to the fish. Now we'll mix our ingredients together. If you need to stir it, stir it like that. It smells so good with the spices. Can you smell that, Mary? It does smell delicious already. <laughs> yeah, with all and these the cumin and the cardamom. And the the cardamom, cardamom has yeah. a yeah big flavor for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll turn it on again. Now, my ingredients, my vegetables, and my spices are all mixed together. So, I am going to. Pour it over my fish. Look how many colors we have. A green, orange, white, and all the spices. It smells so good. It's very healthy. It's different ways, different, you know. We use different techniques for this fish. Now, look how beautiful it is. Now we have, you know, the ginger and olive oil and lemon juice over the fish and now we have all our vegetables over the fish i'm going to spread it all around it's okay if it comes on the tray because you will eat it, it will be so good look how beautiful and colorful and very healthy if you would like to add another ingredients of vegetables why not the one you like it but i tried squash ones and eggplants it didn't you know taste well with the fish so I stick with these ingredients. Now our fish is ready to be in the oven. I will cover my fish now to be placed in the oven. Uh, as you notice, I preheated the oven at the 375 Fahrenheit and I'm going to place my fish now for 15 minutes covered. And after the 15 minutes, I will take off the cover and leave it for another 15 minutes. 
So Noah, when I, I do cook a lot of fish and usually when I get it home, I'll just run it under the water, just rinse it off. Um, do you have any special way of uh, preparing your fish, cleaning your fish? For yeah, I cooking? soak my fish in a half cup of vinegar and a three tablespoon of a flour for 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Then I wash it and drain it and it will be ready to start cooking it. I think the spices and the rest. But it's very important, you know, for the smell mm -hmm. and for the texture of the fish, mm -hmm. you add vinegar and flour. And what kind of vinegar do you use? It's the regular one. Just the, the regular white vinegar? vinegar? Yeah. Yes, white vinegar. So, yeah. half a cup? Half a cup. And? And uh, three, three tablespoon of just flour. regular flour. Yes. Okay. And Some, the flour doesn't stick to it? No, 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 no. Because before you add, when you add the water, the, you mix it with the vinegar oh, and so yeah, you mix it together, okay. then you put your fish. Okay. And yeah, soak it for 10 minutes. It helps a lot for the texture of the fish and for the smell of the fish. Mm -hmm. Did you notice or did you smell anything when you, no, when you start at cooking? All. Yeah. No, I smell this ice cream. Yeah, that's yeah. why. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you will smell that, you know, that the fishiness. Yeah, fishiness, but as you notice, the vinegar helps a lot and right. the flour. Yeah. Okay, great idea. Yeah. yeah. Definitely going to start doing that now. Yeah. While our fish in the oven, I'm going to start making potato salad. Traditionally, we uh, the side dish with the fish is potato salad. Our ingredients is two pounds of potato. It's peeled and washed. And three cloves of uh, garlic. I use the press one to press the, to mash the, the garlic. One half a tablespoon of salt. And one cup of lemon juice. And one cup of tahini. And parsley to mix with the potato when it's done. Now I have uh, my water in the pot. I uh, turn on the, the stove medium heat. I added half tablespoon of salt and I'm going to cut my potato and it need, needs uh, 10 to 15 minutes to be soft. So Mary, do you use tahini in your potato salad? I have never used tahini. Um, typically, um, we make potato salad with mayonnaise and mustard. Okay, Yellow so mustard. today I'm going to teach you how to use tahini with potato salad. And you know, I think this is more healthier than the mayonnaise and mustard. Oh, what do I'm you think? sure it is, absolutely. So we'll mix, we'll start mixing the lemon juice. I said one cup of lemon juice and I, it, it's prepared to be fresh lemon juice and of course. one cup of tahini <laughs> and the garlic we have and the salt, the half tablespoon of salt because we add the other half of tablespoon to our water Okay, and oops, it has some garlic here. I'm going to use it, and then I'm going to mix it like that. And that's it? That's it. When we have our potato ready, we'll smash our potato and add this to our potato. And, and you add it while the potatoes are still a little bit hot? No, we have to uh, leave it uh, a little bit to cool. Okay. Or we can, you can wash it with the cold water mm -hmm. if, you, if you are in a hurry. Mm -hmm. And yeah, but you have to drain all the water. Don't keep right. adding water over it. Right. Look, look how thick now. Mm -hmm. I can see how yeah. it's going to make a beautiful Yeah, pasta. and do you smell that? The garlic, mm -hmm. only we added garlic and salt. Some people add pepper, but it, it doesn't... It tastes, to me, it doesn't taste good with the mm -hmm. potato salad and tahini and lemon juice. Okay. So what kind of tahini do you recommend? So there are many kinds mm -hmm. in the Middle Eastern stores, mm -hmm. but the best one I like, it's called Ziad. And it's, it comes in uh, different, you know, sizes, small right. or big. Right. But when you open it, you will notice that, I already opened this, mm -hmm. but you will notice that there is all the oil of sesame oil in the top. 
So oh. you need to mix it, mix it very, very well right. until you make sure everything mixed together, the tahini and the oil, mm -hmm. then you try start using it. Right. Every time before you use tahini, you have to make mix sure it well very well before you use it. Okay. Yeah. This is our okay. tahini. Yeah. All right. It's been 15 minutes for the fish cover. Now I'm going to uncover it. Mary, do you smell it? I smell all those delicious spices that you put in. The cardamom, the cumin. And you know the, the vegetables, I can smell yeah. how the vegetables are roasted and caramelized Good. a little bit. And you know, uh, smelling it, it's you know, uh, a sign that it's ready to uncover. Yeah. So now I'm going just to leave it for another 15 minutes. Our potato are ready. I drained all the hot water. I uh, washed it with cold water to cool a little bit. Then I will start mashing. So look how smooth now. I didn't add still, you know, the tahini and the lemon and the stuff. But look, Mary, how it looks to me. It looks very silky. Yeah. So now I'm going to add my tahini and lemon. Mix it again and we'll add it here. And now mix it with the spoon. Yeah. So it looks like it's a big, it's a little big, uh, it's a little thick. A little thick. So, yeah. Right. So I'm going to add some water. So please, if you can help me with that. Sure. So we're wanting to make sure that the tahini and lemon juice are really, really incorporated into potatoes. Yes. And as you see, it's maybe four tablespoons of filtered uh -huh. water. I'm going to add little by little. Yes, you can still mix, please. Okay. Maybe, yeah. And you see until it's oh, yes. smooth. Yes. Yes. What do you think? You are mixing that. So need more. One more. Maybe a teeny spoon. bit more. Yeah, as I said, four tablespoons it would be. Okay. So this is making it just really, really smooth. Yeah, and as I see. So Mary, after we added the four tablespoon water, what do you think? I think uh, it's definitely a lot smoother. Okay. And so silkier looking. So we are ready to add the. Uh, and that's going to get it's all half cup, so. Yeah, half cup of uh, parsley. Okay. You know, munch, parsley. Look, that's wow, a handy color bean. to it too. And it tastes so good. Oh, I can't wait to taste it. Yeah. I love the flavor of tahini and lemon juice. Yeah. Now I move my potato salad to the serving plate. Nicer one. I think this is how I'm going to make potatoes from now on. You will not use mayonnaise or... No uh, more mayonnaise <laughs> and mustard. <laughs> and... Beautiful. Yes. I like how the parsley just mixes in and gives it those nice green flecks yeah. of color. And you know, we will garnish that with mint. Green mint. Now we'll garnish our mashed salad or potato salad with a green, uh, fresh green mint. You know, Mary, we have this as a meal, you know, like in breakfast time. We'll have it in a plate, add olive oil, and eat it with pita bread. Oh, Try it once. If you are planning to do this kind of salad, just add yeah. olive oil mm -hmm. and eat it with a bread. Mm -hmm. And voila, here it is. A good hearty breakfast. But the, yeah, but it's a very healthy one. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Now, after 30 minutes, our fish is ready. So, uh, as you see, it's big. So, I'm going to cut it to plate it. Now, our meal is ready. The fish is not only looks great, but it smells great. And we have saying in our culture that which means the eye gets full before even you try it because it looks so good. Now, it's ready to be served. And 
taking in all those wonderful aromas. Can't wait to try it. And I want to try it, please. Thank put, you. Put it to sour and let me know what you okay. think. I like how the vegetables form a crust. So good. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. This is truly delicious. Yeah. We say in Arabic bishahi. Bishahi. Yeah, delicious yani bishahi. Bishahi an Yeah. What about the I'm I'm taking in all of the yeah. flavors and the mm. spices that you put in. Mmm. The garlic, the salt, the tahini, the lemon juice. Oh, that is delicious. Sahtin. Mashed potatoes. Potato salad. Potato salad. The only way to make it. Yeah. No mayonnaise, no mustard. Mm -mm. <laughs> Thank you. It's my pleasure. If you like my recipe, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. Thank you for watching.